I was driving in the car one day and I could feel my right hand shaking. So I went and saw the doctor. She referred me to a neurologist who diagnosed me with Parkinson's. So when they initially told me I had Parkinson's, of course I was scared to death. My life, all I knew was a degenerative disease that would get worse and worse. At the time, I think we thought it would be just really fast. It would just be really quickly generative. That was 10 years ago. People don't die of Parkinson's. They die of complications of immobility. Exercise is incredibly important, both in terms of feeling better, but also in terms of slowing the progression of Parkinson's disease. I feel that the exercise I do has really helped me out um, when I do it. The days I can do it, um, seem to be better days than the days I don't. Our clinic is unique in that we have physical therapists, occupational therapists, speech therapists, and neuropsychologists. Patients are generally able to progress in, we can help them get stronger, we can help them with symptoms that they're currently having. A lot of the goals that we have are education of the patient and the family. Neurologists focus more on how can we make sure that the quality of, his li of life is as good as possible for as long as possible. I had uh, deep brain stimulation surgery. DBS is deep brain stimulator surgery in which a neurosurgeon implants an incredibly thin wire into a part of the brain that's involved in the generation of movements in Parkinson's disease. The wire is tunneled through another wire under the skin to a pacemaker. Once the patient has had the surgery, I start programming the pacemaker. And the idea is that we're treating the Parkinson's electrically, and that electrical field can actually uh, decrease some of the overactive electrical activity, which is driving some of the tremor and stiffness and slowness. And it is really amazing to be able to program a box and see someone's tremor disappear in front of me. There's been a lot of balance between balancing the medication and balancing the, the stimulator. I've really been happy with my doctor, who spent the time with me necessary to get the best balance we can get. I program him as we're walking up and down in the hallway so I can assess the impact of any programming changes that I'm making on his walking. When she's with me, I'm her only concern and she spends the time with me necessary to get the best results possible. And it's very moving to see how grateful he is when, when things go better and, and that's, I feel very lucky to be involved in his care. In these last 10 years, I've really tried to focus on, like I said, what I can do, take it a day at a time, you know, look for the positive every day and to live for every day.